Hello, we're back again and we are gonna be doing the guide for Dawn Warrior. He's the Cygnus Knight class, um, the spin-off spin of uh, Explorers. Um, he, if you like something that does so much uh, lines and he wears a two-handed swords, you got the right class, two-handed swords and the the right amount of lines that this 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 class does so much damage oh my god man you guys have no idea how much it does he does 15 lines maximum 15 lines and against bosses you know, you just you just pretty much do a lot of uh, excuse me so um let's start with the skill guide um, so in the beginning class you get uh, echo of heroes so it increases uh, 2% power it gives you for, for 40 minutes and it's a two hours cooldown uh, next one is noble mind um, I don't know what this does because I have no idea um, this is the element slash um, it doesn't use any MP but you do attack see look at that uh, let me move this duck look at that is this a quick little attack that uh, it does and it does it hits three enemies one attack um, this is the beginner class for for the Cygnus Knight <clears throat> uh, Imperial Recall takes you back to Erev um, so this one for Dawn Warriors so every time you use uh, element um, it gives you a st I mean so sorry not element uh, this skill gives you every one strength for every two levels uh, you do so I'm 200 and it's 200 divide by doo -doo -doo -doo. so I, I get 100 100 uh, strength just by doing nothing <laughs> yeah uh, Next is the element shift. It's your flash shield. It's pretty good. You can do vertical. You can go. You can do vertical, horizontal. You can do double, but you know you don't need the. I like I like this over doing anything else. So basically, that's a flash jump. Um, this is event event don't care okay let's go with this first job so at first job you're gonna get something called triple shot so this is what it looks like so it does 90 damage takes 14 MP uh, attacks three uh, lines and it hits four mobs so let's see and it's pretty good. Even though I don't have wealth, it's That's your first job skill um, until level 30. Uh, the second, so this one gives you HP, that's the passive buffs. This one is an active buff where um, it debuffs, it, it didn't like. So if you have uh, someone d uh, giving you like an immobilize, you can just use this and it gives you debuff. Yeah. So that and then it has a passive of 10% ignore defense. Um, Hand of Light gives you t 20 attacks. Uh, so that's it for the first job. Let's go to the second job. And the second job you get, let's, I'm going to go with Falling Moon. Because if you don't have this activated, uh, that's a set. Ah, there we go. So when you have moon, and so at second job you're gonna get moon, and the third and the third job you're gonna get a sun. So, so what it does is it splits the sun into two. Look at that. So your all your attacks are based on sun and moon. So 
for for second job you have uh, falling moon so what it does is it gives you 20 crit um, crit damage and all your skills uh, gives like if you're doing four lines it will do six lines um, and then you'll do less final damage um, so that's kind of sucks uh, but it's just the, it's just the second job fourth job is completely different um, and it says you cannot exceed number of lines up to 15 this the the, the, the move the attack I did was flicker so it does 170 percent damage it uses 20 mana uh, it does two attacks and it's seven enemies so this is what it looks like it cuts the moon in half it's pretty cool um, second skill is tracer cut so if you don't have falling moon or rising sun activated these will not be you cannot use these skills you need those to be active uh, so trace trace cut is it does 130 damage three attacks and seven hits so this is what it looks like so with, with this skill, if you're in front you won't be able to yes, you're facing, I'm facing on the right side and then attacking on the back. That's the skill. I'm not, I can't. So if I'm there, nothing, nothing is attacking in the front. Everything is attacking in the back. So when you have, uh, so rising moon and, uh, I mean rising sun and falling moon uh, changes the stance of your, how you hold the ch uh, sword and it does like, damage and stuff like that depending on that so uh, this is your second um, buff so it increases your attack speed uh, gives you tw uh, 20 more uh, attack compared with the hand of light and divine light uh, mastery uh, inner harmony uh, same thing now let's go to the third job third job this is where you get the rising sun so you saw this is the falling moon and this is the rising sun so rising sun will change stats and it will all your skills from uh, for, uh, second job to fourth job will change so if you have sun look at this one I'm, I'm pushing so this one when you have sun on you will push your skills um, rising sky sun uh, changes your skills uh, to that and then when when rising sun is activated you get uh, one one plus plus one stage um, speed uh, your attack speed and you get 15% final damage so right now I have uh, zero so if I have sun, 25 uh, because I have, I have four, skill, four job skills, so it does that. Uh, so when you have sun, uh, you get... So their, their name changes compared to the, when you change the stance. Like that. So when you do sun, it changes to light. When you do moon, it changes to moon. So let's go with the sun. Um, Let me just do both of this. So this one, uh, uh, this one does three attacks to one enemies and 320 damage. And this one does 290 damage to multiple monsters, and it pushes them back. So I'm gonna do sun, and then I'm gonna do moon because you ch you have to keep. Changing. So this is what it looks like when you have sun on, but. But look at the line. You you lose your line when you do look at that. Look at that. So that's for the sun. Uh, this one. See, 
it pushes it back. And when you have a move, it pushes it back towards you. So, look at that. Right? So, both the stance does a little different than that. True Sight, when you activate this, um, your enemies, bosses, every anything that is near it loses 10% defense and your final damage increases to 5% by 5 sorry excuse me so you do 5 more uh, 5 so final damage increases by 5% when you're when you have this true side on so this is a passive soul will of seal so this one you get it's a pretty good skill for Cygnus because you're recovering a lot of HP um, but not MP so this class uses a lot of MP so I'm use I use a lot of this blue bar right here but it's it's worth it it's worth it the amount of lines you do in this uh, with this job you're gonna love it now let's go to the fourth job uh, you get Call of the Cygnus, so it's a maple warrior for Cygnus Knights. You have to do a little quest just to unlock this. Um, so in the fourth job, we are gonna get Equinox Cycle. This one, it when when you activate this, you have power. So you have power. Should use both the skills and it's see? see so all your skills is like that it changes to that okay so um, and it, both both of their buffs actually combines each other and you won't have no problems when you're doing this see see Right? There was no deep. There is no deep of when you're using the equinox cycle. So when when these guys have a little debuff at the end, so you're losing f a final damage negative sixty percent. And for job one, you don't lose anything. It's like both. You can activate everything, and you're good to go. Your damage is high. Um. So. For job skills, you have the boss skill. So you're using this as a boss. Um, this one is called Moon Dancer and Speeding Sunrise. So 400 damage, four attacks, one enemy. So this is your boss bossing skill. So when you attack, him, right? Look. Equinox it changes from Sun and Moon both of them um, Now we have solar pierce uh, this one is does six uh, attacks and Seven enemies that hits this is your main mobbing skill. So let me just buff myself up. So this is your main mobbing skill look at that it does between attacks Goes off the screen. Goes off the screen. Yeah, that's a pretty good skill. Uh, you do mobs and you clear pretty fast. Uh, you got impelling ray. Uh, this one gives your enemy debuffs. Uh, so they they don't move. They get stunned for like. Uh, 10 seconds and they apply it applies debuff so when you're using this let me show you so when I go oops uh, wait which one is this okay. so when you do this so so they're stuck and in few seconds they're gonna take damage after 10 seconds it's gonna pop off and it's gonna do damage equal to 
it should happen anytime soon. See, there you go. See, they did, they took damage. So uh, that's impelling ray. Right? Uh, it's it works against bosses too. Oh my god! I just Horntail. I just put this down. Horntail gets stunned. I just I just go ham with that. Next is Equinox Slash. Um, I don't use this skill as much. It sucks. But they basically. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there. Uh, it has some cooldown and. Why is it not working? I don't know why. Whatever. So. Yeah, I'm using you for a cycle. Okay, I don't know why it's not working. It's probably bugged. Um, you got passive, critical, you get cri Oh, by the way, I'm at 79% critical. This class has so much critical damage. Um, see, look, 15% critical damage increase. Um, this gives ignore defense. Um, this gives final damage. It increases um, critical rate by 35%. Look at that. This passive skill is the one that gives me 25%. Uh, so when you have uh, Equinox Cyclone up, it actually does this. This one gives you the buff. So all the skills. So it removes everything. Everything. So that's one. Uh, so that's it for the fourth job. Um, let's go with the passive skill. So I'm going with... Um, Divine Pierce, uh, that's your, this one, Divine and Pierce, so that's uh, Crescent Divide and Solar Pierce, uh, so 20% and number of lines equipped, so right now it's doing 6, I will be doing 7, so 14 lines, but since I have this, it's, it goes to 15, it goes to 15, for sure. Uh, this is your bossing skill, so I'm maxing this out. So boss 20%, ignore defense 20%, damage 20%. Uh, this one doesn't have ignore defense, or else I would have done that. Uh, active skill, you get stinks crossing when you have this on. Oh my God, you can. It does like AOE damage to not the whole screen, but wh whichever direction you're doing. So it does 15 enemies, 600 damage, five hits, and when you charge it ma to the max, it got, does uh, 2,900 percent damage. Um, so when you have some debuffs on, this does crazy amount of damage. Yeah, uh, you got. 190 skill, so damage increase. That's normal. This is the another skill that gives you a buff, and it doesn't have no cooldown. So plus 50 attack is pretty good uh, for 180 seconds. So that's three minutes. Um, so that's how it looks like. Uh, that's pretty good because usually uh, when you buff. When you have something like a buff here on the active skills, they have a cooldown, but you only have stinks and it's pretty good. Now, let's go to fourth job, fifth job. I haven't put these on yet, so let me put, so this is a buff, so I'm going to remove this and do this and do this okay so first one we got celestial dance so when you activate this you get a buff so when you so when you have this 
You're basically attacking all the monsters. There's no units, look at that. Both of them three, both of them can die. So you're you're doing double the damage. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. So now, now, now it's go back to normal. Um, so it increases our damage by 1240. It does three attacks increase. So you're doing maximum damage. It has three minute, um, two and a half minute cooldown, but you're doing crazy amount of damage. Oh my god. Um, so if you have this and you're bossing, you're just gonna do. You're just gonna rise up and do crazy amount of damage because you're doing 35 percent more 31 percent more damage to them because it's a final damage uh that's for the celestial dance let me just switch to that okay now rift of damnation so you know how you have the skill and and it has a cooldown, so you now it's at cooldown, but when I have... Okay, uh, so when you have this skill activated... It's a mana consumption, so you do a lot of mana. So you need to know, you need to have a lot of mana just to do use the, uh, use all these skills. So it's pretty good. Um, so what it does is your stink crossing, it removes the cooldown completely for 30 seconds, right? Uh, it final damage is increased uh, by 50 percent. Oh, sorry, it reduces my final damage by 50%. Um, and when if this one is on cooldown, when you activate this, it goes, uh, it resets it, and you just you can just spam it like continuously. And then when you attack, when you have when you attack with this, um, you're gonna get like you see that little. Uh, let me see if it's off cooldown. No. Uh, 180 seconds three minutes i have to wait for three minutes so it creates a little rift on the side like on the side and when you pop that rift you have to continuously attack on that rift so when that rift shatters um it does 2704 damage 15 enemies six times um so if you're bossing with it it's amazing it's just it's just amazing uh and this the solar eclipse. Oh. Finally, this skill is an the whole screen AOE, and it does. It will stay there for like until you destroy it, or how many seconds? It doesn't say seconds. So, uh, thousand MP uh, creates eclipse. And attacks 15 enemies seven times, dealing 486% uh, damage. 30 times, cons like it continuously do it. So you're invisible, invincible during this cast. And now, when you pop this, so Equinox divide. What the hell is? Oh, that's what the skill is. Okay. So when you when you do the when you pop the moon when you top pop the eclipse, the whole map gets 1,350 percent, 15 attacks. So maximum attack. So I think the so 
so let's let's do the rift thing again. So this is what it looks like. attack with that and then so it gets nope okay because because it ran out okay so now oh because I don't have mana okay okay now for that look at that it's the whole map it's the whole map on cooldown so I just wanna I just wanna level up a little seconds it's it's just to show off that skill <laughs> See if I can. Nope. Um. Well, that's it for the for this the, the skills for Dawn Warrior. Uh, let me see if I can do it again uh, anytime soon, and then I can. Let me see. Oh, it's a 40 seconds cooldown. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I'll just buff it up, and I'll just, I'll just use this skill again. guide for uh, Dawn Warrior. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you. Bye.